everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to try to uh solve this problem do some level coding work at the same time i'm going to try to follow the general interview steps while trying to solve this problem so first of all let's read through this question and get a good understanding about it so design an iterator that supports the peak operation on a list in addition to the has next and next operation so implement the Picking iterator class. Uh, we have the constructor. What parameter is the input array? Initialize the object with the given input array nums. But actually, the given uh, interface here is by passing an iterator. So I think this question needs to be updated a bit. Then, uh, but but it doesn't matter much. Uh, let's say the next one is next. Returns the next element in the array and moves the pointer to the next element. And the third one is has next returns true if there there are still elements in the array. So peak returns the next element in the array without moving the pointer. So this is a constraint uh, so we have the input array length anywhere between one to a thousand numbers are between one to a thousand as well so all the cost to next and peak are valid and uh, the, this is like the limit limitation about the next has next and peak so having said that um let's let's see how to solve this problem so this one i I don't think there's too much of the room think, to think about algorithm, but uh, essentially what we are going to do is we are going to keep the iterator and the next uh, integer. So that's pretty much a, about the idea. So not not focusing on like the runtime space analysis uh, because uh, it's it's very uh, it's like uh, very trivial to do this kind of thing. So but. I do. Uh, I define the private uh, members as iterator of the integer uh, of iter, and as I said, I will go. I'm, I'm going to have like an integer of a next. Uh, so the next is actually used by peak uh, here. So we call iterator. Uh, so when we call the constructor, we are going to have this dot iter either and if the iter dot next is uh, if iter dot has next then we have next as equal to iter dot next so that's pretty much it and uh, when we call the has next next we just return um, next now equal to a none pointer and uh, you need to have the next as not here so when we call peak um, we actually so return the next element in the iteration without advancing the iterator so we, we are not uh, advancing the iterator instead we are just returning the next so it doesn't say if next is none what we should return uh, so I, I would just assume if it's none then we just return none so for next, uh, this one, what we would do is uh, we will proceed the iterator and also we will need to, okay, so I, I need to check the behavior originally. So it's like here, it's like um, next. So if there's no elements, then we are going to return this one, which is called no such element exception. So, I'll just copy it here. If um, next is equal to an end pointer, then we are just going to throw uh, the this kind of exception. And then if it's not equal to none, then we are going to have like a temp integer as equal to next, because this is this is the thing we are going to return. You're going to return tab here and in the middle uh, it's going to be something like uh, uh, next is equal to oh so the thing is we still need to see whether we actually have something uh, so if 
the aether dot has next then what we could do is we have aether dot uh, sorry next is equal to aether dot uh, next otherwise we have next as a num pointer so that's i think that's pretty much it uh, let's see if we can run it so it's called throw no such element exception uh so what is this one so no such uh so this one is something like uh, we are going to import it i guess so we are going to import uh, this so like uh, has next aether dot has that says uh Aether dot has next y uh, let's see Aether dot has next to return true or false so if Aether dot has next then we are going to so non pointer exception here uh oh okay so this is called iterator sorry um if uh, iterator this dot either this dot either all right so now we have fixed most of the things uh, let's do some submission okay so I think that's pretty much it for this question uh, if you have any question regarding this piece of code and uh, or this, uh, this this solution feel free to leave some, com some comments below if you like this video please uh, help subscribe to this channel I'll see you next time thanks for watching